You know, as John B. would say, this is paradise on earth, baby. Welcome back to another good, good video and welcome to another 18 hole 3v3 stumps versus twigs match. Today we're out here at beautiful Purcell Farms and the conditions are perfect for some good scoring. This was actually the very first video we filmed on our Purcell Farms good, good week, but due to scheduling, we had to push this upload back. Things get intense in today's match. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Let's get right into the video. We have made it to the be beautiful first hole. It is a par five here at Purcell Farms. Honestly, this is just a, it's, this is like surreal for all of us, especially me, Matt and Steve, but, and Garrett, but here we go. Twigs are going first on the par five. Yeah, as you guys know, it's a, it's a, a par five, a little bit of a dog league, right? And uh, we're gonna start out here with a nice little albatross. Hey! There has been an albatross <laughs> made on this hole well, at night. And Steven's gonna start us off here, and uh, yeah, let's, let's get into it. Three, 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 going straight right. All right, look, Steve. Oh, oh he's right to get in the play. That's that Purcell ball. in his vein. Ah! It's a mustache. Get me out of here, baby. <laughs> I hit that like 210, but gosh, that was a good one. All right. Oh, my uh, goodness. Oh, Garrett, I got that oh, one. You got that one, Grant. I got that one in the bag. You got that one in the tank. Hey, too good drive. Wonderful drive. I'm oh, not liking that, wow. Grant, so far. <laughs> Right? It opens up over there. So far right. <laughs> Your first one was perfect. One we got here, we didn't get to go to the range. So we warmed up a little bit off the first tee. Grant hit one ball right down the middle. Can Comes time to beat? play. Yeah. That was good, man. <laughs> 280 into this par five, guys. That's how you know you hit it spinning. It's also, yeah. it's wet today. I've been waiting for this. Brought out Steven Exotic. He's looking for pets. I got a three wood. I'm just going to try to put it right up there. If anything, I just want to give the boys a nice layup. Nice. Steve. Okay. Looking exotic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At first. Just short of the bunker. We right. like that. I'm just out here to I'm just out here to have a good time. You know. You're here for a good time. Not a long Not time. time. Alright, let me Who get said that. that? Jimmy Buffett. I don't know. Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> I like where it's at right now. Loving, loving. It's, it opens up a bit. He's gonna warm up. They don't like city slickers out here at the Bristol Farms. Yeah, I gotta, like, I gotta get used to this one. Ah, okay. A little short. All that right, boys. Go. That worked. All right, two good shots up there. there. A little spinny on those first couple shots, but it, it feels good to be, feels good to be off at Purcell, man. There's. The sun's peeking through. There's nothing quite like it. There really isn't. That's all it is. It's pure beauty out here. It just feels awesome. This is probably a better angle, but Garrett's is a lot closer, so. Our percentages are a little bit higher here. All right, I'm just gonna throw it right at it. How far do you think you got, like 30? Yeah, about 30. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Here's Thing. A, little, a little bit more than 30. I think it is a little more. Yeah, it's 30. probably like 45. It 45 looks so 30. short, doesn't it? Yeah, it's no, I bet 45. it's like 50 to be honest. All right, I haven't helped out so far, so here I come. Played at about 100. All right, Grant. Why is that weird? Like, she's today. Basically talked in his backswing and he still hit a great shot. Wow, that released a lot. Really? Really? It seems really spongy out today. That one just. Ooh, that one's that. No, that one released. Yeah, they're actually a little hard today. You know, the stumps are probably going to be shocked when they see that as well. So, you never know. <laughs> let's let's see if they say the same thing. <laughs> Once you have the right line at Purcell Farms, they always pretty much stay true. Like the greens are just pure. Did not see that break on. Okay. Well, as well. I'll take the mulligan. That's weird. <laughs> You'll take the mulligan? Yeah. Well, not not the best start, but it is a par, and we're at Purcell Farms, so you really can't complain. It's early in the morning, boys. The dew's still on the ground. We gotta we gotta recover, because obviously, we pretty much know the stumps, the stumpies out here. They're gonna go low. This course is super, super scorable, so 
Lots of birdies on the course today. Matthew, we Dude. have made it back to Purcell Farms, the stumps. We've added a stump, we got Bubby here. Um, but it's a big day. This video, including the next two, are gonna be awesome. It's a 3v3 at Purcell Farms, and I, I tell you what, it just couldn't be, couldn't be happier. I could not be. Lots of fun memories here. And we get a start on this absolutely beautiful hole one. It's a par five. That little tree sticking out there, and I mean, we just gotta be the best and beat them twigs. I think I think everybody's gonna play well today just because we have such, you know, there's just a lot, it's like nostalgic, but you know, I think we're gonna, I feel I feel good. Yeah. We're gonna keep our running streak up. I feel good go. too. Adding I think 50, 15 under, 16 under will win? I think so. Right. Hey, let's do it. No pars, boys. All right, let's go. Matt, lead us off. That's right of them. It's thing. gonna hit them. Four! <laughs> Are they drivable? Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. I think it's, it's in play. It's but. still gonna be in play. It's not. It's not the worst. I mean, the first shot of the day. You know, it's good to see that I'm hitting. You know that. Okay. And none of us have warmed up yet. Oh my goodness. All right, boys. Heave ho. Heave ho. Oh, that's a bit right too. That went straight down, I believe. No, it didn't. Well, Micah, you got it. You got it. Hey, mine's, mine's fine. Mine's, mine's gonna have a good angle to the green. Mine's gonna be over the trees. I'll be fine, but fairway is where I'd like to be, too. Oh, Double no. crossed it. All right, boys. <laughs> well, <laughs> Matt's will be all right. It'll be all right. <laughs> Guys, here we go. We're taking Matt's drive, best angle with the green. Kind of, you know, not our best tee shot starting out here, but um, we got 270 to the, to the pin. We're just gonna rip some, you know, rip some clubs. There's not, it's not really too much trouble up there. Matt, take it away. Ah, dang. Hold on. All right. That's not good. Oh. Where'd it go? Just right of the green. Oh, Gosh, that was close. Missing. We're taking mine here, lay up, laid up to just 90 yards. Obviously, not what you would ideally do here, but you know, sometimes you gotta you gotta just play it safe, get it back in the fairway. All right, gotta get a close tap in for birdie here. Be the right number. Get all over it. Get, get all over it. Number. A little short. Oh, hey, that's all right. We got a putt. Go. No, that's there. Let's go, boys. So I like this a lot too. Sit a bit, sit a bit. Nice shot. Oh, that is a good number. This has been a good teamwork hole here, y'all. Matt's drive, Micah's second shot. It's my third shot, and now Matt's gonna make the putt. We're gonna start out with a birdie, 17 more of those, it should bring home a dub. Oh, it does break a little bit. Yep. Nice. Putt. Perfect putt. Come on, boys. Let's go, boys. 17 more, just like that. <laughs> Can't birdie them all if you don't birdie the first. Well, here we go. Hole number two after that little bit of a rough start. But um, this hole is very gettable. It's kind of a short par four. Playing at, I don't even know. About 375. I'm always eating on the course. Yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah. Here's they're they're probably going to eagle that. Par four, Steven with the driver. Let's get after it. Oh my lord. Exotic Steve. Oh, if we get a free drop since we're in that bunker area. Yeah. Yeah. He's back. He just had to get a, a warm up hole. Nice, great. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm get back. Out. I'm back. I need one hole. It's okay. Sometimes a slow start makes a great finish. Nice, Garrett. Nice. I don't know how you're playing a fade. Hold oh, a fade. RC, you got to hold this thing. Oh, you hear me? Lord. And drop it. Oh, God. <laughs> you got a ways to walk. It's wait, wait, wait. It's dark. It's dark. It's dark. Why is it dark? Where did I push? I did something dumb. I'm not even going to talk. This thing going to use. We picked a nice and wet day for all of us to wear white shoes, including Colin, Chase, Grant, and Steven. 
probably not the smartest thing, but it is what it is. Guys, middle of the fairway, and we probably got about like, I would say 80 yards here, front pen. It brings a serious happiness within my soul out. It's the weirdest thing. This place? I don't know how to explain it. it is, I don't know how a place on earth can actually do that, but it, it's doing it right now to me. It's just doing it. All right, boys, let's focus up. We are not, we're not losing to these stumps anymore. I'm sick Stop. of this stuff. It's a whole, oh, that's so good. Good shot. Oh my God. I like that fall through, Grant. Something about it. Oh, come in. Makes me happy. You're inside of me. Alright. Oh, left. Okay. Yeah, right to left, I like that. That's good. Why did I just yank it across my body? This one separates te the, the teams right here. Whoever putts the best on any given day is typically the one who wins. And this is where we've been struggling. So today we're making a change. That's true, because everybody's going to hit it pretty close. Huh? And here's the deal. Gave it a run. The first couple holes don't count. That's all I'm saying. Once you get into the fourth hole, that's when you start actually having to play. Yeah. Right? Nice, Garrett. Just start, he's, he's starting to jog now. He's, he's oh, starting to jog. Boy. Them little legs are starting to move. Yes, there I'm is. actually going to start galloping soon. Hey, like a horse. You better not be horsing around with me. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Freaking Steve Exotic is out and he is ready to play. Yeah, let's go see how stump <laughs> let's go see how stumps are playing. I think it's like 390 or something, but basically you just want to aim right at these two pine trees, hit a little fade or even hit it straight and you're going to be set up perfect, but Twigs are on the green right now, so we're just gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna fire away. Should be okay. Oh, where do you aim at? That big tree? Matt's is a little left. I think it's in play. I think Probably it's over the bunkers. Is it over bunker. the bunkers? Yeah. Yeah. So that's gonna be in the rough. That'll be fine. That's good. That's a great angle. Thank you. Thank you. Tracer. Bye, man. Tracer. Now you can get after it, Micah. Bubby's is good. If I can, if I can make a swing here. Hold on. Oh, no, that's perfect. Where's the hole go? Just a little right, but I think yours is in the rough. One of me and Bubby's are good. If Bubby's just stayed in the fairway, it's gonna be a great angle. Taking my drive here, um, we got 81 yards into this, uh, into this par four here. I mean, great angle, good pin. Just fire right at it, no need to hold anything back. I need that exact same swing that I just had on the last hole. That was about 86 yard swing, so. What we need. I like this a lot, man. This is, this might go in. Oh, just a smidge short. Nice shot. <laughs> See, you just, you just come out to Purcell and you just swing back. Where is this Bubby coming from? He's always been here and I just had to get him out. I don't know, that's surprising me too. I don't know, it's just that's a good day. Oh, be so good. Be so good. Oh, baby! Is nice it close? Boy. Like a foot. Let's go. <laughs> the vibes are just different out here. Hey, let's stick it to these twigs. This is a tough putt here. I mean, Micah literally put us in here within a foot. We all hit some really, really solid shots. I was just a little short, like he said, right about there. So I'm just gonna tap this in, the boys can stay in the cart. That was an insane start for the stumps. Micah, he literally put it in within a foot. Thought it was gonna go in. That Had was insane. Dude, Purcell will be hitting a little different out here. You know, we're just, gonna, we're just gonna repeat right there, hopefully out here at Purcell Farms. Good, good. 2022. Interesting fact, me and Matt were eating breakfast this morning and we were at the restaurant, scrolling back through some pictures, and uh, within seven days, we were sitting at the same table two years later. Isn't that weird? That's Dude, first nice. I'll be hitting different. Two under par so far. We're gonna keep this train rolling. We're gonna get 18, 19 under par. We're gonna show them twigs. We're not messing around today. Yeah. I don't know if any of us can get there. It's 322. I know Micah can, 100%. Micah can. 
it's gonna be a struggle. You're gonna have to hit it good. That's all I'm gonna say. I'd say Steven's gonna try and put one in the fairway. Grant's gonna rip at it as hard as possible. And then I'm gonna do the same thing and we're gonna hope for the best. Yeah. Nice. Nice ball. Dude, that was sick. Yeah. Is that in the bunker? Oh, no. Short. no. Short. I like where the swing is at. Oh, that was 174 at least. Come on. I don't know if it's reachable. I'm gonna give it everything I got, and we're gonna hope for the best. Oh, I hit it hard, Grant. It's oh. just left. That was speed. I can't complain. That happens often when you swing super, 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 super hard, but. I was just telling Garrett, two years ago, that's before he even started working out, so he's gained a lot of speed. And the course is probably a lot different for him, but hopefully I can help out with, I want to make some putts today. That's the one thing. I put a lot of pressure on myself to make putts. I just, that's one place that I always want to help out. Because I know I'll help out with the tee shots and approach shots, but I just want to make some putts today for the guys. So the main thing, see if we can heat up. Grant's actually in here real nice. And honestly, I don't think it was really drivable for any of us because Grant's still 60 yard short. Micah can easily get it there today, but you still gotta hit a really good drive to put one on the dance floor. What would you say, 60 Grant? Yeah, I'll go 55 with it. Okay. Oh. It's there. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Give him a little, I'll oh, yeah. give him a slopage. I see what you're doing. So good. Okay. You know, I was trying to use the back of the hill, right? Nice. Yeah. I think every shot, we're just going for the pin. Yeah. If you, land, if you land it like seven yards short, it's gonna roll into the hole. Okay. Work out. Ah! Huh? Grant, no, my wedges are coming out so low because I thought I hit that solid. Why am I hitting him so low? This shot in the last one on the last hole, so low. All right, I feel this one finally. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that was the line. You know what? Do you like that line, Garrett? I do. I do like that line, Grant. Yep. You! Oh, that's all right. It's good. This is an easier hole, but it. You know what? Oh my God. Once again, another par. Par's just not gonna cut it. That is the unfortunate thing, but we are one under through two. So we're gonna have to make some eagles, make something happen. Guys, it's really just crazy how many times we've played these holes. It like, it, it feels like, it, it's almost like a sunflower heels type of feeling when you get there and you just, but you know, anyway, here we are, hole three. It's 340 yards to the pin into the wind. Not really getting there today because everything's so soft, but uh, Matt's gonna just hit it over this left yeah. bunker. Dang it. Hold on. This hole, you do not want to miss any, you don't even want to miss at that bunker. You want to miss left of that right bunker. Still in play. Stay. That's okay because it's short. Yeah. Yeah, I spun that. But that's a little tricky. Yes. See, that's the shot. That's perfect. That is just right where we want to be. Chipping right back toward the pin. <sighs> Let's freaking go, man. All of us are staying in play, and that's really what I'm trying to focus on here. You left it in the car. We got about 35 yards here to the pin, just just on the left side of the fairway. Um, got some green to work with. Just kind of a little. I kind of want to throw a little bump and run up there. A little tip for you guys back at home. When it's wet outside, you don't want to get your grips wet. You just go boop. Just like that. I remember the first time I did that in a tournament and a kid looked at me like, are you a magician? Well, let's just get another birdie. I mean, what do you say? Let's give it a chance. Man. Let's get an eagle. Go. Oh. That's it, boys. It comes That's down to understanding Purcell Farms, man. See, I know all the angles, I know the symmetry, I know the genomics, I know the trimmings, <laughs> I know the geography, I know the freaking physics. Go! Yeah, it's spinning. 
Another on the down slope. Come on. Is that closer than Matt's? Woo! Yeah. Ah, go. See, that kind of hit on the down slope too. Wow. Come on, boys. Those are some shots. All right, well, we was trying to get that one to run by the pin so it might have a chance, but I'm, I'm fine with it. It is left to right. Yeah, oh my gosh, it moves, dude. We're good, boys. 200 through 3 ain't bad. 200 through 3 ain't bad. And we just missed a freaking four footer. How? What the? That, that's a, you know, that, that could deflate you if you let it, and we're going to try not let that. That is just. Sheesh, that is unfortunate. That was kind of a weird putt. I thought it was breaking the opposite way. Fourth hole of the day here, there's a little creek up there. That's like the easiest three holes in the course almost. Some of the easiest holes, so we gotta we gotta dial it in. Well they were a little too activated. Okay. You activated them a little too much. That's a good side. You wanna be on the right side. That's right. All right. All on top, you like it. In the fairway. It's pretty good. I think Garrett will hit a good one here and get it 10 yards past that. Oh, I hit it so good. Garrett is right now. Okay, that's actually good though. It's not good. I'm trying to be like Grant, have the positive thinking. It always helps when you kind of like hit a shot, you can duck it like 160 yards left and still be like, that's, that'll play, that's good. All right guys, I think Garrett was just in the cackle bush over there. <laughs> oh good. Yards. He used to say that. 192? Should I hit a full six? It's up Just a nice six, not a full, just a nice one. Oh, baby. Nice, Steve. Yeah. Go. That's why you hit the six. Go! Get up that ridge. Okay. How'd you get that? Long. I didn't play very well. well. A little thin? Yeah. All right, I just, I ran and grabbed my ball. But we're back. 192 yards from Grant's ball. Yeah, we'd be stealing one if we buried this, I think. Okay. No. Just get warm. We're just getting warm. Was that a six? Yeah, it was a six. I like a six. It's playing uphill. It's playing super long. It's probably 200 yards. Garrett, oh. that is so good. That is so good. I hit seven. You hit seven? Yeah. Holy moly, though. Let's go. Come on. That's the energy we need. Come on, baby. Woo! That you echoes. can hear the yell forever. I feel like there's some elk out here. The something. amount of times that we screamed and yelled the last time we were here over putts, the intensity, the competitive drive, it's coming back to me. Like, yes, I'm always competitive, but today, I'm a little more competitive. This right here. This is the momentum shifter. He nice. Knows, Steve, he drew it mentally. How to draw the lines. When that's Steve starts line making right putts, there, when Steve starts drawing the lines on the greens, that's when you know he starts feeling something in his veins. We're gonna let that go. We'll forget that we did that. We'll come back on this one and make birdie. Sometimes those short ones can get you. You know, you just gotta. You gotta a, pick a line and trust it. That's like the toughest putt in golf for a righty golfer too. A left to right slider, yeah. six footer. That's a, here we go. Hold. It's tough. I was like putting a bunker since we've last been here. That bunker, yeah. that bunker has not Always usually been, been here. But a little fade off the right side of that bunker, you'll see in the fairway is good. Hole number four. It's a 440 par four, so it's a beast. Back into the wind. Before we get to the next hole, number five, which is <gasps> the best hole out here. Yeah. Great ball, man. Beauty. Yeah. Put that in your breakfast, tuna. Put that in your breakfast burrito and you just chomp on it. <sighs> Tell me my hole in one. This Wait, the part four or the part three? Patented <laughs> formula. <laughs> okay, that would've been perfect. No left. See right there, that would be... I mean, it's in play. Perfectly fine two years ago. <laughs> I wasn't really focusing on that one because your ball's perfect. Yeah. I love that. 
Great ball, man. Thank you. No, that's Matt. That's like exactly what we want. That's perfect. Okay. Depending on depending on the angle. I'm talking about yeah. the angle to the pin, not yeah. not where the ball is. We'll, we'll have to see. But you know, as John B would say, this is paradise on earth, baby. All right, well, we're taking mine here. We got 174 yards. Kind of an interesting interesting thing. I don't know if that pin's in the back or in the front. In the back. But I'm, yeah, we're thinking it's in the back. I'm gonna kind of aim at Luis a little bit, maybe a little left, and just give us a good putt in. Fade. Sit. Right in the bunker. Gosh, dude. Sit right there. Take off that hill. Send to win. I think that gives us a putt. I think so. You yeah, got eight. There's a, you see there's a ridge and then there's a gully. Got that about a groove low, but it turned out all right. Mike's got the eight iron now. Gonna He's gonna hit it close. I didn't mean that low. Whoa. We're good boys, we're good boys. How's the song go, Max? Sweet home Alabama. It's my first time ever in Alabama. I'm having a good time. It's a beautiful day. It's warming up. We're gonna make this putt. We're gonna bounce back. I ain't worried about it. We just got out of car ride. We gotta warm up. We gotta get loose. Let's get to it. Bubby's ended up pretty good. Just a smidge long. I mean, on a tough hole here. We got 21 feet. You wanna go and knock me in? Same order. I like the order we've been doing. You got this, Matt. Matt always makes the first bomb when we're doing twigs versus stumps. Holy dead straight. Oh my dead straight. Just, just a little bit. Just Bobby golf. Dang, what a butt. It's kind of weird because it does break at the end. I'm gonna play it just just over that old cuff there. I love this if it gets there. I love this if it gets there. I love My this God. if it gets there. Slow down. Dang, two pars in a row, guys. I mean, two under three, four. Not where we want to be, but it's not where we're gonna end it. We're finish, just one eagle sure. away, boys. This course, it just, I don't know, it's its actually just surreal even coming back. I got a 15 in pitching wedge, I haven't decided yet. That's how short it plays. Yes, yeah, so what do you have, like a six iron? Yeah. Actually, no, I'm kidding, no, I had a, an eight and a seven. Yeah, go grab like a nine in pitching wedge. I think this course, this place, the Purcells, they completely changed our lives, like forever, honestly. Yeah. And I, I think that is a legit fact. You know, this whole trip was obviously over quarantine, which was obviously a very dark time for the whole world. and and we are very thankful and blessed to even be able to be here um, during that time and still bring you guys content on YouTube. And I don't know, it literally changed our lives. So it's it's really cool to, to be back here on this hole, especially because this is the signature hole and yeah. Oh, whoa. That's gonna be the wall for it, too. I have a nine iron up. Oh, Lord. I'll be good. Yeah, there it is. Good Where shot, is it? Center of the green. Ah, put it there. Oh, barely. Short. Grant's in there just long and pin high, I'm just short. I don't know, but we're, we're definitely taking Grant's. Not bad, not bad shots, not bad shots. Hopefully we can make that putt. I feel like the only real way of explaining something like this is like, I don't know, if you guys have ever been to somewhere that's so beautiful in nature, for example, like for me, it's like skiing. We're waking up in like, I don't know, 7 a.m. at the base of a mountain. It's so beautiful that you're like speechless. That, this hole and this place just in general kind of has that place in our hearts. It almost makes you like a little emotional. A lot of right to left. Yeah. Like it, bang, bang, snapping in there. Okay. Well. React to the target. React to the target. That's what it's all about. Grant, first time playing it, birdie. All right, we're not in. Garrett, come on, no. So the pour on this hole is like a birdie, so we'll take it. Good shot. This is one of the most, this is the most famous hole here at Purcell Farms. 
Hole number five, it's basically looking over the entire golf course from here. It's 180 yards to the pin, but it's playing down 40 yards to like 140. A little into the wind, so maybe like 155, 160, but just, I mean, just a beautiful hole. Brand new bunkers, this is just it, man. Let's come back, let's come back. Oh, I came back like a foot. All right, that's a good start right there, boys. Is that nine? Yeah. All right. No, I pinned it. Bunker. It's actually a really tough golf shot. I got nine out here just going kind of right at Matt's ball there. Burn. Oh, my God. Burn. Burn. Come on. Be so good. Oh my god. Where is it? It's a little long. Coming back. Oh, look at it spinning. Yeah. A couple good shots from me and Matt there. This would be a big hole to birdie. Me and Matt's shots were about the same distance. Mine broke away from us. Matt's breaks towards us. A little statistically easier putt to make, I think. Turn, 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 turn. That's a good putt. Good one. Hey, that's yeah, very, it's, it's, it stays right there. It's just right edge, just knock it in. It's just too firm on that line. That's twice you've left it short. That's not short, We're Not Matt. short, well. <laughs> The scores might the score might be down a little bit, but the spirits are up. But that right there, <laughs> that makes up for it. All right, we got a par five coming up. Let's make eagle. All right, guys, onto our final hole, of part one. It's called bootlegger. And it is a par five in this bootleg. We're in the yeah. bootleg of bootleg. It's a little bit of a dog leg left. You guys will you see the pin downhill. Does it open up past there? It does, but I don't know if it opens up that much. It, it looks like it probably opens up past that, but it doesn't too much over there on the left side. Yeah, that's, that's real nice. This is a weird mental hole though, isn't it? Because it looks like that's going through, right? I hit that. I bombed that. That's perfect. I think you can get a little more left of that though. Okay. I'm going at the left side of the right bunker is where okay. I always try and hit it. All right, I'm already hitting a draw today, so I'm just gonna try and trust that here, folks. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. A little left of yours that might. We'll see. I don't think it got to that bunker. All right, 186. Okay. See, when the hat goes off, that means it was a little, a little left bit left. Usually. A little bit. Just a little bit. There's a correlation between the poles and the hat going. I'm sure there's a study on that. <laughs> no, there's not. That was just a bad shot. I hit it off the toe. We got, do you like seven? I'm hitting, I'm hitting seven, yeah. Do it. Go. Matt, that bucket's fine. That's fine there. Dang it. Okay. Yeah. I kind of tried to take the safe play. Oh, it spun off that hill. That's the miss on the hole. Not bad. I am not upset with that, honestly. I was aiming over there on the left side. Just it's where you kind of want to play to with this pin location. I mean, I would assume. Right? Look at that. He's doing jumping jacks. <laughs> <laughs> jumping jacks. Yeah. That man, he's twerking. A little bit of left to right. I haven't been getting any of my putts there other than the one I made. You just gotta draw the line in your head, remember. See where it's mm -hmm. coming in the hole? Yeah. You saw where it was coming in the hole. And that Ooh. was the right. Short, again. That's fine though. We're in for pretty. Don't mind it. Garrett. You no! Oh, my lip! All right, guys, here we go. Last hole of part one. We're finishing out a par five here. It's pretty straight away. You basically just want to hit it right over this first bunker with a little fade. 
and uh, it'll run down there. It's a very goodable par five. We need to we need to finish strong here. I, it's hard to tell. I don't, I don't know what the twigs are at, but yeah. you know, I, I think that maybe both off to a little bit of a slow start. Yeah. That'll work. Good ball. Little pull, little pull cut there right into the center of the fairway, boys. All right. Back to back good drives, I think. It's gonna be in the rough, but it'll be that. That should be great. It'd be a good line. It was hammered too, wasn't it? Yeah, I hit that really well. The rough out here is jumpy though. Ah. No, that's actually I like that a lot. That's gonna be just sort of that bunker. That should kick a little left too. Made it down to the bottom of the hill here. Um, probably gonna have about 170, 175. But this is a great position. We just gotta set ourselves up to finish with an eagle here. For sure, birdie. I tell you, it's warming up quick. The skies are blue. You just, it's a beautiful day. Nice shot. Hey, we're fighting for eagle there. I was just hit really well. A little bowed wrist up there at the top, working on some swing changes, literally becoming the best golfer. Oh my buddy. Oh, a little bit. Get all oh over Bobby. it. Bobby. Oh, in the bunker. No! God, that was almost beautiful. Did you hit eight iron? Yeah, I thought I needed a light one though. My eyes are like being so deceived right now. Oh gosh. Alright, take a mess. Alright, we gotta make a putt, boys. Come on. A little unfortunate. It didn't give ourselves the best options here. Matt did get us on the green. Me and Bobby didn't do much there. But we got an eagle putt, probably about 40 feet. I'm gonna let him read this because I'm still I'm still getting warmed up to, to where we're at here. Better man. Just a little speedy. I, see, I thought that was breaking to the right the whole time. Yep. There you go. Yep. And that didn't get there? I'm going to actually try to trust this about a foot and a half out to the, no, about a foot to the right. Stay there, get up. Stay there, get up. Yeah. the energy up Woo! for the last hole of part one today you gets us to four under through six holes let's freaking go that's that is unbelievable. the purcell energy Golly. that's unbeatable okay part one ran with an eagle i told you we would i'm telling you wait out of this guys hopefully you enjoyed part one at purcell farms of this 3v3 the the content over the next month we have planned for you guys is just unbelievable obviously purcell farms many of you know it and love it just as much as we do. So thanks for tuning into part one. We don't know where the twigs are at, but you know, you guys do right now. Dude. Come That's on, big. baby! That's big.